The project was designed by CUNS Architects, with a total area of 130 square meters. Completed in 2013, the loft is located in a historic tenement building built in the late 19th century. Located in a protected district, every element of the design maintains the charm of the past while providing modern functionality. The loft space, which is part of a four-story building with an attic and a basement, required a personalized approach to maximize functionality and aesthetic appeal. While maintaining the open concept feel of the loft, the design team also retained key architectural elements. The exposed wooden roof trusses, which extend to the full height of the room, stand as a testament to the building's history, adding character and warmth to the space. Natural light floods the space from multiple windows, creating a bright and airy atmosphere. White walls and ceilings amplify this effect, making the entire apartment feel spacious and welcoming. The kitchen, bathed in sunlight from a skylight, serves as a central hub that seamlessly connects the private retreat of the owners with the living and guest areas. The kitchen itself is a work of art. A large island offers ample space for cooking or simply relaxing in the adjacent hammock. The use of exposed brick on the knee walls and along the back wall adds texture and depth, subtly emphasizing the length of the apartment. In the master bedroom, the design takes a bold turn with an open bathtub concept. Positioned within a bay window, the bathtub benefits from both natural light and a touch of extra headroom. This seamless design approach eliminates barriers, creating a fluid transition between the bathing area, the nearby wardrobe, and other essential spaces. The flooring throughout the apartment is a blend of existing pine wood and dark grass tiles with an interesting and irregular surface. The use of earthy tones, paired with timeless white accents, creates a harmonious and elegant environment. The second project was designed by Cadaval and Sola Morales, with an area of 90 square meters, and is located in Ciudad de Mexico. Located in the historic Colonia Roma area, this project presents innovative design solutions in the midst of an urban context full of history. Colonia Roma, a historic neighborhood in the central sector of Mexico City, developed in the 19th century as one of the first extensions of the city center. Originally inhabited by the upper class, the area experienced a population decline in the second half of the 20th century, especially after the devastating earthquake of 1985 that destroyed many buildings in the area. However, in recent decades, Colonia Roma has re-emerged as one of the most active areas of the city, filled with art galleries, small restaurants, cafes, and life returning to its streets and public spaces. The project explores new configurations within the existing spatial distribution framework. The intervention is carried out on the horizontal plane, dividing the space into two parts. On the one hand, a low ceilinged area composed of small and cozy spaces, and on the other, a large public area with double height.
bedrooms and a studio are connected by a unique space that combines the living room, dining room, and kitchen. The simple design approach allows a clear reading of the main space and its relationship to the city. The third project was designed by FATST UDIO, with an area of 90 square meters, and was completed in 2016. Despite its small area, this project offers a very detailed and classy design. Let's start with the major changes in the master bedroom. The large ornaments in the previous bedroom have been torn down, but the wooden floor, which is an important element, is still maintained and well maintained. To provide more space in the living room and increase the display area from the ground floor to the mezzanine ceiling, a spiral staircase was designed to replace the old straight staircase. The new staircase is the main highlight of the octagonal wall, and the area is expanded for steel-framed windows on both floors. The main transformation in this project was how to deal with the octagonal mezzanine above. To meet the storage needs of paintings and clothes, we decided to place three cabinets on the long side of the room. These cabinets are 800 millimeters deep and are divided into three sections, with a central section designed to display clothes and surrounded by volcanic gray stone that provides an interesting contrast from the entrance. The project may be small in size, but the design and construction process took more than two years, with many revisions and adjustments to suit the client's needs. If the chef condo renovation that was publicized in 2016 was a grown man, this project is a young woman preparing to become an adult. The fourth project was designed by Tresero Seat with an area of 80 square meters, and was completed in 2017. Located in Atame BB Brazil, this loft was designed to reflect the lifestyle of a young and single client. When entering the apartment, you will pass through a small corridor that limits the space to move. To overcome this, a shelf was designed that not only functions as an organizer, but also displays the personality of its occupants through various personal objects. This shelf also continues to the staircase area, creating a more personal space to concentrate and work, according to the client's request. Downstairs, the common area is designed to accommodate many guests. The spacious sofa is designed to be flexible and modular, allowing for various configurations as needed. In addition, there is a 2-meter dresser that also functions as an additional bench when there are many guests.
The balcony is also an important part of the design, with chairs and tables that can be easily moved to the living room when there are events or meetings. The wall and structural materials are left unfinished, with prominent lighting channels and exposed bricks, creating a young and dynamic atmosphere. The fifth project was designed by Tubo Architectura, with an area of 1722 square feet, and was completed in 2018. Bringing a modern touch to the 120-plus-year-old building, the project seeks to balance history with today's needs. Stepping over 120 years of history is risky. Tradition and age can cloud everything and make change impossible. However, erasing all the memories and starting over feels disrespectful to history. We chose a middle ground, preserving original elements such as the Nala mosaic floor and the ceiling frame. The walls that previously divided the space were torn down, opening up the previously fragmented space, as the client desired. This process led us to discover original brick walls, ceiling moldings, and traces of past construction. The wooden interventions are placed on the floor without interrupting the flow of the mosaic and never reach the ceiling. In this way, all the unique details of the Catalan-style ceiling remain visible, creating a link between past and present. The space is arranged symmetrically, with two large openings at opposite ends of the room that feature tile floors and moldings retained from the original distribution. One side houses the master bedroom and bathroom, while the larger side contains the dining room, kitchen, living room, and gallery. This gallery is designed as a balcony that can function as both an indoor and outdoor space through a folding door system, providing flexibility and convenience. The sixth project was designed by Studio Clarisse Semarine, with an area of 70 square meters, and was completed in 2020. Located in Asa Sol, Brasilia, a quiet and tree-filled neighborhood, this project is home to an adventurous couple who bring many memories from different parts of the world. The couple, who are originally from Brazil and have traveled extensively, especially in Africa and Lisbon, brought with them their precious memories to their home. The renovation aimed to transform their small apartment into a spacious environment that integrates with the natural beauty of the surroundings. Before the renovation, the apartment had three bedrooms and only one large bathroom, while the kitchen was small and impractical. By removing the dividing wall, the living and dining areas are now integrated directly into the kitchen. The third bedroom was transformed into a dining area that faces directly into the kitchen, separated only by a short wall that displays the TV. The kitchen now takes advantage of the area that was previously the laundry room and bathroom. 
The Kabogo, previously hidden, is now a central feature in the new space. The kitchen floor and countertops use traditional handmade cement tiles, giving a strong emotional and aesthetic touch. The choice of materials such as wood, cement, and brick creates a sense of connection with nature and memories of the past. The design is inspired by Mediterranean architecture and grandmother's kitchen, as well as a collection of objects from Africa. The end result is an atmosphere that connects us to nature and memories that continue to grow. The seventh redevelopment and repurposing project of the Hayden Building, designed by renowned architect Henry Hobson Richardson in 1875, was both technically and conceptually challenging. Designed by Cube Design Plus Research and completed in 2013, the project transformed the 8,500-square-foot, long-neglected historic building into multifamily housing and retail space. Located on the edge of Chinatown and Boston's theater district, the Hayden Building has undergone several changes in use over its history, from a clothing and hat store in the late 19th century to an adult entertainment center in the 1960s. After a devastating fire in 1985, the building sat vacant and in need of major repairs to the stone and plaster structure, as well as replacement of the flooring and roofing systems. Conceptually, restoring a historic building designed by a renowned architect is a major challenge. The Hayden Building was the precursor to Richardson's grand commercial design, becoming an early template for skyscraper design. Given that the building's brownstone walls are a significant historical feature, the interior concept mirrored the exterior massing of the walls inward, adding additional functions such as a food pantry, laundry, coat storage, and book storage. Interior details reveal physical remnants of the building's construction, such as brick pockets left by original scaffolding, and revive Richardson's design concepts from spatial layout to wainscoting and material organization. The new entrance on Lagrange Street reopens the historic facade and reverses Richardson's idea of solid and void. In the eighth project loft in Kiev, designed by architects Igor Martin and Olga Novakova from Myartyn Architects Studio, located in Kiev, Ukraine, the apartment has an area of 115 square meters and is the residence of a young and energetic lawyer who loves to hang out with friends and play table games every week. The project is executed in a loft style using various characteristic elements of loft design. Located in a new building offering views of the city center, the apartment stands out with the use of furniture and decorative elements made by Ukrainian craftsmen, companies and designers. One of the main features of the project is the furniture and decorative elements made by local craftsmen. Furniture designed by Igor Martin for the company His Home Ideas Supply makes its debut in this project, adding a unique local touch to the design.
In addition, the apartment is equipped with a clever house system that allows all commands to be executed via the owner's personal mobile phone. This adds convenience and modernity to the daily comfort in the apartment. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more interior design inspiration. See you in the next video project.